Alright, here's a quick video of the uh, electric fan conversion we put on a uh, 78 Ford 3 quarter ton van with a 460 motor. We're using a Taurus fan. The radiator on this thing is actually one of the larger ones. It's coarse 31 inches across and 19 inches high. And the silver thing up front is the only transmission cooler we're actually using. The tranny flu is actually not going through the radiator. Using the Taurus fan. See if I can get this in here. There we go. Kept it in the uh, factory mount. It is a somewhat tight fit in here, so we had to offset the fan on the radiator. You can see it's not centered. And made our own brackets just using some flat steel. See if I can get that to work. And we're using the holes that are actually already in the radiator for the fan shroud. Here's the ones from the other side. I'm actually using 8 gauge wire for the fan itself. Temporarily I'm using a, a circuit breaker that I actually had handy which is a 100 amp breaker. I'm going to go ahead and make that the more proper size uh, once I uh, get my ammeter which should be here within a couple weeks and I'll know exactly how many amps it's pulling and then I can size it correctly. We're using actually a Hayden fan controller. It's nothing special. Um, I did have to extend the wires for the uh, probe itself, which is actually now this yellow and brown wire here. The original is this one here. Is I just cut it, soldered it, and put some heat shrink on it. Uh, this green wire that I have here, there you go, is I'm actually running back inside the cab so that I can keep an eye on when it's on. A little red light turns on when the uh, fan runs. This extra relay here is actually not being used anymore. At one time I was using that when I first set this up so that when I turn the truck on I would actually be able to send clean 12 volt power right to the Hayden controller. I wanted to make sure I was getting actual 12 volts to it. But now I've got it set up so that the Hayden controller actually gets power all the time. So even after I turn off the truck It'll actually uh, run the fan for a little while if it needs to to actually cool things off. For the relay, let's see if I can get this to work in here. It's right there. It's actually a Tyco 75 amp relay. Get that, get that work. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up in a minute here so you can see this thing run. It's a nice cool day today. Let's see, where did it get? Whoops, there you go. Yeah, it's a little over 100 degrees out today, so it's not too bad. All right, so let me go get this thing fired up. All right, now I have the uh, motor warmed up some. almost forgot to show. The fan probe is right around there, at the bottom of the radiator. And, okay, it's warmed up a little. The radiator's warmed up. Of course, the bottom of the radiator is pretty cool still. Yeah, bottom of the radiator, 103. Top of the radiator. All right, so we're going to start this up. Let's get it warmed up a little bit so the fan will turn on. towards 195. Let's head back out. You'll see once it turns on the temp drops fast. This is actually aimed lower than the uh, fan itself is on the back.
and that's all it takes to uh, cool down the motor when it's at idle. Give you one more loop around here. And if you're curious, the uh, temperature sending unit for the gauge is actually in the heater hose as it comes out of the intake, right here. And if you're curious as to what temperatures the fans actually keeping the, uh, or I should say the thermostat of the motor is keeping the temperature at, take a look here. Right there, it's just a hair above 195. Basically, I'm letting the fan keep the water and the radiator cool, and letting the thermostat work to keep the engine cool, keeping us two separate circuits. You can see the light is on there, so the fan is running. And you can see the temperature still staying right about 195, maybe just a hair over. And there you go. Well, I don't know, don't know if you noticed it, but the fan is actually running pretty much in front of temperature of the motor. So the fan will run, the fan will stop, then the temp will actually finish coming down. The fan will turn on before the temperature actually goes all the way up. I'm staying ahead of the curve by running them as separate circuits. If you run the fan off the water temp in the motor, you end up having to run higher temperatures. I tried that at one time. The only way to get it to work so the fan would turn off on the freeway was to let it run to 215 degrees and then let the fan turn on. For an auxiliary fan, that would be probably okay. For the primary fan, that's just way too hot to leave the motor all the time. Alright, I'm back outside now. Truck's off. But you can see, temperature is still rising. And this is actually the lower part of the radiator. I've got the Hayden set up so it'll actually turn the fan on. A couple, it'll do it actually a couple times, but it's really hot out. It's only 100 degrees out now, so it won't be too bad. Um, and it'll go ahead and once it warms up enough, it'll run the fan again, it'll cool it off. It really does help in a van body, since the van really holds the heat uh, quite a bit. So we'll let this thing keep climbing up a bit, and it'll go ahead and turn on. Electric fan just cooled off the radiator. Water's much cooler now. It doesn't take much with these Taurus fans. They pull a lot of air.